you so much for being part of this series. Oh, thanks for having me. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Emiko. She, her pronouns. Uh, I'm currently in second year and am on my first co-op term. Uh, I'm doing a dual degree with arts and applied science. And in applied science, my specialty is my, yeah, my engineering specialty is engineering physics. Uh, and then on the art side, I'm doing a major in human geography and a minor in indigenous studies. Uh, and then the co-op position that I'm currently doing is called a transportation engineer, I guess, engineering student. Um, and I'm working for a company called Urban Systems, which is an urban planning consulting company in Vancouver and across BC, but I'm based in Vancouver. Can you tell us a bit about what led you to choose your specific engineering discipline? Sure. So coming into first year um, and UBC, I knew that I really wanted to do this dual degree with arts. Um, and like I've always kind of at the end of high school, I was really getting into geography and I'm like very fascinated by the way that physical places shape community and culture. Uh, so I was looking for, out of my engineering degree, I was looking for something that could be paired well with human geography. Um, so a program with ideally enough flexibility for me to be able to take those arts courses, um, but also something that wasn't super, I, I guess not super focused. Um, I was originally kind of leaning toward environmental or chemical engineering because um, I'm really interested in sustainability and I figured that seemed like that would tie pretty well with geography. Um, but as I looked into the programs a little bit more, I found that engineering physics would actually keep, uh, by the end of like the engineering physics program, I think it's still very applicable to a lot of different um, fields and career paths, while some of the other engineering speciali specializations seemed very focused and you're really getting a super solid education in like chemical engineering in the case of Chibi. Um, so I was, I, I sort of ended up going towards engineering physics because I thought it would um, be a bit more open-ended, which might make more sense for combining with something like human geography. No, I like how engineering physics kind of allowed you to tie in your interests. That sounds really cool. Can you explain what a day in the life at that current position would look like? Sure, this is, this change, it changes every day. Quite <laughs> dramatically, it changes every day. But my role as a transportation co-op student, um, so I'm sort of split between two different teams. So there's the engineering side of transportation, and then there's the planning side. So the planners are doing a lot of like active transportation plans for municipalities, um, like identifying where we should put a, a bike lane or a sidewalk, um, that, that sort of stuff, while the engineering team is really like designing and implementing those projects. So they work very closely together and I'm sort of tied between them. So as a <laughs> long-winded way of saying at the beginning of the week I have a whole series of meetings because I've got the engineering check-in and then I've got the planning check-in um, and then I often check in with my coaches urban system is urban systems is like a flat hierarchy company so there is I don't really have a boss um, but I have a coach who's sort of like a more or I have two coaches actually and they're more experienced um, one's an engineer in training and one's a planner and so I meet with them pretty regularly. I'm encouraged to reach out to different project leaders and just see which projects align best with my interest and what I'm trying to get out of the position um, and then I'll be assigned work in sort of that way. So I'm working on an application to get funding from the federal government for a new sort of walking path connection for an indigenous community um, in BC and we're trying to connect their res residential center to like a collection of ball fields and the cemetery and a new economic hub that's currently only accessible by walking along the highway which is obviously really dangerous and not ideal so actually at the beginning of my co-op I helped to design the pathway that 
were wanting to build um, mm -hmm. but it was very like high level design it was it was meant to be part of the active transportation plan so not really like engineered super in a super detailed way but yeah. now that that's all been submitted the communities decided that they'd actually really like to build this project so now what i'm working on for them is applying for the funding from the federal government to try to actually make that happen which is super exciting um, and then i also do a fair bit of like traffic related research so often when you're putting in like a big protected bike lane a highway might you're maybe you're taking a lane of vehicle traffic out of a highway and you're putting in a bike lane um so now there are less room for cars so you have to look at how waiting like how delays are going to be impacted by this whether you're going to have to change the traffic signals maybe you need a protected turn somewhere to make a certain movement have like a shorter queue length uh so this <laughs> variety of stuff just like every day it's a little it's totally different and there's different projects and different tasks but um i love it i feel like the work feels really valuable and impactful and i can kind of very quickly and immediately see the impact of what i'm doing um, because you can see that project implemented in the community and you can there are all these metrics for the ways that that will improve people's general like health and well-being and safety and ability to access these places that are important. I really like that how every day is kind of different because there's so many things you're involved in. Uh, I think that makes your position really exciting. And I think what you mentioned about like your work being impactful and being able to see the results is super cool. I think you might have touched on this a little bit, but what is your favorite part of your current co-op position? Yeah, I, I would say it's just the work feels so meaningful um and that's really exciting and i think also like i feel super lucky that for my very first co-op position i get to be doing work that is you know that there is such an impact and value to it because i i think you know your your co-op you're often looking you're looking to develop skills and get a foot in the door in many ways and i think that um having this bonus of the work being like really something I'm super interested in. There's also so much community engagement that happens with a lot of the projects um, and getting to like last, earlier this week, I was reading through like hundreds of survey responses about which projects, which uh, like what the priority projects are in this neighborhood of what people would like to see. Um, so getting to, hear the hear or read the voices of people who are going to be directly impacted by the work that i'm doing also feels very real and meaningful and getting that opportunity to yeah, work with directly with communities and have such impact with our projects that's my favorite part no i really like that as well um i think it's so important that you're getting to work directly with like the stakeholders of the various projects that you're working on. What has been your most valuable or meaningful experience in co-op so far? What first comes to mind is that that um, funding application that I'm working on right now because because I got to design the path at the beginning of my co-op and now I'm getting to hopefully getting to make it a reality by applying for this funding. That's I, I'm, my fingers are crossed that it'll go through and uh, we'll get the funding and I'll probably be long gone because my co-op's only four months by the time that, that the build actually ends up happening. But project that was really cool that I got to work on a couple weeks ago was um, actually I'm from, I'm from Toronto um, and although Urban Systems operates mostly in, in BC and or Western Canada, like BC, Alberta. There's some stuff happening in Saskatchewan, I think. But not not as many projects happening like close to where I'm from, Ontario. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the beginning of my co-op, I got to work on a protected bike lane project that's actually right next to my house back oh. in Toronto. <laughs> um, Actually, I feel like it's common knowledge that they're building protected bike lanes on Shepherd Avenue, but that's really close to my house. Um, so I was looking through these maps and I was doing traffic analysis of 
streets that I grew up on. Um, and like, if this bike lane had existed when I went to high school, I could have taken it to my school type of thing. And so that was really cool and also very, um, I think valuable because it put me in the shoes of the, like you said, the stakeholders and the community groups that exist for all the other projects that we're working on, even if I might not necessarily fit into that box. So that was another really cool project where I was just like, oh, it's so, yeah. it's, it's just, they, these projects just have such an impact and um, it's really exciting. Yeah, that's so cool. That's like a full circle moment because it's like, you're working on the project that directly affects like the community in which you grew up in. So that's yeah. so cool. <laughs> do you think it is worth it to do co-op? I have found co-op to be super valuable so far. I do think that it really depends on your personal goals um, throughout your degree. I know that not everybody has the sort of ability to, to take that extra time, to put that extra year on your degree uh, to have co-op, but I think if you're able to and maybe you're not super sure about what you want to do after you graduate or you're just not sure what that looks like. I think having the opportunity to test out different careers and different workplaces in this sort of shor short term, lower pressure, lower pressure than like your full time job after you graduate scenario yeah. is really, really valuable. Also, just I'm I'm gaining so much just through conversations with my coworkers who are more experienced engineers and planners like so many so many geography graduates in planning so getting to talk to like basically my future selves <laughs> and uh gather their advice and on just life advice and talking to people in the industry i think that's all yeah i i feel very grateful for the opportunity so i think that it's it's a good one if it lines up with what what you're looking for awesome thank you so much and again thank you for your time and for being part of the series oh no thanks for having me <laughs>